In this tutorial, we will show how to use the Chemex School Data Logger. The experiment is about logging temperature changes over time after a temperature sensor has been lowered into a beaker filled with 100 milliliters of hot water. For the data acquisition, we will also need a microcontroller, in this case, an Arduino Uno or a compatible clone. As the sketch already contains a simulation of the experiment, we only need the microcontroller and the downloadable sketch, plus the Chemex School software and the Arduino IDE software. It is possible to download the sketch by pressing the serial data logger link on the Chemex School homepage. To do the non simulated version of the experiment, we need the following the sketch, Chemex School software. Arduino IDE software. An Arduino Uno or a clone. A 250 milliliter beaker or similar. 100 milliliters of water. A 10 kilo ohm temperature sensor. A 10 kilo ohm resistor. A breadboard. Four male to male breadboard jumpers. As we can see of the picture, a simple schematic of the experiment is presented in the upper left corner. Enable the logger by checking the Serial Data Logger option. Make sure that the COM port in the Chemex School Data Logger is the same as in the Arduino IDE. Also, Check the logger baud rate versus the baud rate given in the sketch. Insert title text, x-axis text, and y-axis text. In this first simulated logging example we have to make some minor changes in the temperature data logger sketch. To view the first 10,000 seconds of the water cooling experiment, we have to change two of the parameters in the sketch. Set the mode parameter to 2 and the interval to 10. To upload the sketch to the microcontroller, click on the arrow pointing to the right as demonstrated and wait until the sketch has been uploaded. Start data acquisition and wait until all the data has been received. As we can see on the left side above the data field, 1000 data points has been received. By scrolling the data field we can see that the time intervals is 10 seconds. To view how the simulation of the temperature experiment looks like in real time, set mode parameter to 1, and interval parameter to 1. Upload the sketch to the microcontroller.
To start logging, click the Data Acquisition button. To stop logging, click the same button as was used to start the logging. To stop the logging after 10 points, be sure that the stop after radio button has been checked. Insert 10 in the text field as demonstrated. To start logging, Click the Data Acquisition button. As we can see, the logging was automatically stopped after 10 seconds or 10 points. To operate with only 10 points visible at the same time, Check radio button located below the acquisition button as shown. Click the data acquisition button. Click the Data Acquisition button again to stop logging. First, remove previous plot by clicking the Clear Data button. Change max number of points from 10 to 1000. Before we start logging, check Advanced Logging. Click the Data Acquisition button. The x-axis represent the time given by the computer and the y-axis represent the temperature sent by the microcontroller. Click the Data Acquisition button again to stop logging. Change selected parameter from 2 to 1. Click the Data Acquisition button again to start logging. By changing the parameter from 2 to 1 we now have a linear time against time plot. This is because x-axis now represent the time given by the computer and y-axis represent the time sent by the microcontroller. Click the Data Acquisition button again to stop logging. Change selected parameter from 1 to 2 and remove the plot by clicking the Clear Data button.
Click the Data Acquisition button to start logging. As we can see of the Y scale, the lowest temperature is lower than 30 degrees Celsius and the highest temperature is about 100 degrees Celsius. As demonstrated, insert minus 1 in the Y minimum text field and 300 in the Y maximum text field. Click the set limits text button. We can so see that the lowest and highest Y scale temperature has changed to about 0 degrees Celsius and 300 degrees Celsius respectively. Click the data acquisition button again to stop logging. Click the clear data button and remove the content of the Y minimum text field and Y maximum text field. In this example we will use a conditional statement. First, select the statement. In this case we want to collect log data if the next log point is equal to, greater or lesser than, half a degree Celsius of the previous point. Start logging by clicking the data acquisition button. By using a conditional statement like this, instead of collect log points in fixed time intervals. We can greatly reduce the amount of log points needed to visualize an experiment. Click the data acquisition button again to stop logging. Remove the data from the XY data field by clicking the clear data button. To stop logging when a certain temperature condition is fulfilled, select a stop condition from the drop down menu and insert the temperature in the right text field located below the clear button. As we can see in this example, when the sensor reach a temperature of 98 Celsius or more, the logging process will automatically be stopped. To get an alert if a certain temperature condition is fulfilled, select red alert from the drop down list and insert the temperature in the right text field located below the clear button. Click the data acquisition button. In this case, when the sensor reach a temperature of 90 Celsius or more, the background of the plot will be colored red.
To remove the alert, press the clear button. Select a new condition from the drop down menu and insert a new temperature in the right text field. If the temperature reaches 99 Celsius or below, an alert will be activated. Again, pressing the clear button will clear the text field and remove the alert. Click the data acquisition button to stop logging. L clear the text field and remove the alert. If we want an alert to automatically turn itself off when the conditional statement fails, we have to check deactivate alert if condition fails as demonstrated in this example. To save the experiment, insert the name of the experiment in the text field above the list box. Single click one of the list box elements. Save by clicking the before button. Thank you for watching this Chemex School tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.